Hey guys, it's Josh. Today we're going to go over how to create a write-on text effect, which is really popular in vlogs, travel videos. Here's an example. Alright, so here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro. And we're going to check out how to create this awesome effect, and it's actually really simple to do. So if you're a beginner, hold on, I'll walk you through step by step on how to achieve this effect. So I have my clips here. I'm going to delete everything and replace my video clip to show you how to create this. Let's leave everything here in Project Manager and just drag in my video file. Just like we're starting a new project. So drag it into a new item right here. Then I'm going to zoom in a little on my timeline. I'll play back my video. So this is where I'll want my title to be. What I'll do is go to the text tool right here in my toolbox. Click the type tool and type your text. Altia is in Spain, so I'm going to write Altia. I'm using the font Gloss and Bloom. It's one of the coolest fonts for this type of effect. We can resize it a little bit if needed right here. So we're going to import a brush and I'm going to open that up and just drag it onto a new layer right here. We have this brush right here. I'll go into effects and just search for the tint effect and apply it to my brush stroke. Go to the effect controls and change the black to white. This will make your brush turn white instead of a black brush. You can rotate your brush and align it to be just under your title. This will add a little bit more detail to your logo. So now what we want to do is actually write on our title. But before that, I want to select these two layers and extend these two layers to fill the time of our original video. Go to effects again and search for write on effect. We're going to apply that to our text. Go drag it to the top of your text layer, which is right here. And then right here in our effect controls, I'm going to change the color of my write on effect. I'm going to increase the brush size to 35. You're going to see the ball appear over here. Set the hardness to 100 and set the opacity to 100. Stroke length is how long the brush is going to stay visible. We want this to be visible for as long as possible. We're going to be animating the brush as a mask, so we want this to be on the screen as long as possible. Set this to 100, and it'll just stay there. I'll go up to Project Monitor, and I'm going to zoom in a bit so I can see it closer. So now, in the beginning of my timeline in the Effects Control, create a new keyframe for the text position. Click on the stopwatch, which will create a keyframe for this frame. You will create a new keyframe on each frame in the video. I'm going to select my selection tool and click on my brush in the write on effect. Click it and drag it. Make sure it's outside of your text. Make sure this is a keyframe right here. If you hit if you hit shift and the right arrow, it will move you forward 10 frames. Then we want to drag this to the top. The brush spacing gives it too much space. It's too fast of an animation. We'll lower this value to create a more solid line. Now click on the stroke in effects again and hold shift right arrow key to more. Right click on the stroke in effects again and hold shift and right arrow key to move 10 more frames and drag this to the bottom. We can easily see right here that there is a leak of the white. I'm going to move this backwards a little and move this to cover up the text more. Then we'll move forward 10 more frames and drag this down again. Move 10 more frames and move the brush up here. Jump 10 more frames and move the brush again. If you see leaks, you can move these keyframes if needed and adjust it to cover them all up. Move five keyframes forward and move the brush down to here. I'm going to speed this up and cover the text frame by frame with the brush.
Here where there is more going on, I'll use shorter animations so that the keyframes are a little bit closer together and just move it a little bit and again. So now my text is entirely covered. We can see that no white is leaking through here. We'll go to the play style and we want to change this to reveal the original image. We'll go to the beginning and let's play this through. We can adjust the brush size through the animation to clean up these areas.